Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the CSR Net July 2024. Today I will explain you how you can solve the Markov chain related questions that was asked in the part B. Myself Dr. Harishkar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you will find the two different playlists, one for the probability and statistics question and you can see in this playlist PY question of the Markov chain that is from the part C multivariate maximum likelihood estimator and many more lecture related to the statistics portion of the CSR net. Another playlist you can find as the mathematical sites and you can see I have uploaded the complete solution of the July 2024 with the help of the shortcut tweets. You must subscribe my YouTube channel so that when I upload it in my next video you will get the notifications. Now this question is from the part B that means you will get as the three marks in a very simple manner and believe me this question is a one of the simplest question in the examination. You have to read the statement very carefully. Just try to read. Let Xn is a homogeneous mark of chain with the states are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 having some transition probability matrix. Let alpha is the probability that it start from the state 4. It start from the state 4 and is will eventually absorb and it will absorb in the closed state 0, 3. So what does it mean? That means this quotient is related to the absorbing Markov chain. First of all, fine, because your target is to start from the state 4 and it will be absorbed in the state 0 and 3. Y is called as the closed state and you can easily see that the sum of the 0 and 3 probabilities that is my 1. If you write the matrix corresponding to the state 0 and 3 you can see the sum of this value will be my 1. Fine. So each of the row is my 1. So that means this is my closed state. Fine. Now how you can solve this question in a very very simple manner. Very very simple again. I can assume that let's say pi is the probability that whatever the given statement that start from i call as i that start from the i and it get eventually absorbed in this state 0 comma 3 fine now that's simple now based on this tpm i can write this probability so firstly for the p0 state this is my 0. So I can write this quantity is because 0 is already absorbed in the state. So probability is my 1. Why? Because 0 is already absorbed in the state 0, 3. Similarly, if I write as a P3, this is P0, P1, P2, P3. P3 is also 1. Why? Because 3 is already absorbed in the 0, 3. Fine. What will be my P of 1? Clearly say P of 1 has only state can the state 1 goes to the either 0 or 3. Any one of them. 1 to 0 is not possible. 1 to 3 is not possible. That means the probability from 1 to 0 is 0. Why? Because 1 is not going to the 0 and 1 is not even going to the closed state 0, 3. Then what is the probability of the 2? Is it possible that you can start from the state 2 go either to the 0 or 3? Yes. So I can write this is probability of this is through my P0 plus 2 over 3 probability of P1. Now since what is the P1? P1 is my 0, P0 is my 1. So what is the value of this? It is my 1 over 3. Fine. Now, what is my P3? P3 is already 1. So now the last one is P4. P4, yes, I can write that. It's a 1 over 8 into P0, 1 over 8 into P1, 1 over 2 into P2, 1 over 8 into P3. Plus, the last value is 1 over 8 into P4. This is the only single division. But now you can substitute this value. It is a P0 and it is also P0. So I can take it on the left hand side. It is a 7 over 8 P4. What is the P0? 
P0 is my 1, so it is a 1 over A. P1, P1 is my 0, so this value is cancelled out. P2, P2 is my 1 over 3, so this number is my 1 over 6. P3, P3 is my 1, so this number is again 1 over 8. So I can take 24 is my LCM, so it's a 3 plus 4 plus 3. Fine, so now that's over. So can you find the value of the P4? This is 8 over 7. So it is my 3, so that will be my 10 over 21 is the right answer of this P4. Because my target is to find the probability of the state 4 and that will be my 10 over 21. If somebody will ask you find the probability of the second stage that close absorbing the state 0 1 that's a P2. So that is the 1 over 3 is the right answer. So you can see that it's a very very simple way you can get your answers based on single TPM and the closed state 0 3. So this is the simple question which was asked in the part B. For more details you must watch about my these lectures which is related to the Markov chain. PY question of the Markov chain, all I have explained with the help of shortcut tricks. This lecture is the most important for you because it has involvement of the many tricks. Apart from them, you can simply follow and subscribe my YouTube channel where you find various lectures related to the July 2024 and the other lectures related to this CSRNet examination. I hope you can like, share and comment on this video. You can share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Best of luck students, happy learning always.